How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over how to solve problems that ask is the solution unsaturated, saturated, or supersaturated? So first off let's just define all those terms. A, an unsaturated solution is a solution that contains less than the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved at that temperature. A saturated solution is a solution that contains the maximum amount of solute that will dissolve at that temperature and any excess solute won't dissolve. So uh, when I make tea a lot of times I'll see like granules and kind of like particles floating around at the bottom and that usually indicates that the water has reached its highest concentration it can and then the rest is kind of you know it's it's not going to dissolve same thing with like drink mixes like uh, lemonade or, or Gatorade mix and stuff like that that can happen uh, super saturated solutions are pretty interesting they contain more than the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved at that temperature so usually how that occurs is uh, the temperature was raised it it um, was able to uh, a greater amount of solute was able to dissolve and then the temperature was lowered again and it's still dissolved but it, it's unstable now and uh, it might crystallize if it's disturbed so I'll try to put some kind of video on the side here of, of what that will look like. And now this, this curve down here, the solubility curve, uh, was just to indicate basically where each area would be. So, so if you're given a temperature and a solubility that's below the line, that's going to be unsaturated. If it's on the line, anywhere on the line, that's saturated. And anything above the line would be super saturated. So with that in mind, we're, we're going to start jumping into some problems. Um, and I'll put this to the side and um, we're going to, for these problems, we're going to reference our solubility curves again uh, that we used in the last problem. And another thing I wanted to mention was there's this quick reference that I made. Um, basically, it tells us if the concentration, essentially what we're doing here is we're comparing the concentration to the solubility. And if the concentration is less than what the solubility will allow, then it's unsaturated. If they're equal, it's saturated and that's it's met the limit. The concentration has gone as high as it can um, at that temperature. And if it's if the concentration is greater than the solubility will, will allow, that means it's super saturated. Um, so with that in mind, uh, we'll, we'll start jumping into these. Okay. Okay, so here we have, uh, is, a solution, is a solution of 50 grams of NH4Cl in 100 grams, it should be of water, at 40 degrees unsaturated, saturated, or supersaturated? So first off, let's take what we have. We have 40 degrees Celsius, and we're looking at NH4Cl. So let's look at this, NH4Cl and 40 degrees. So we're looking at the blue line. And then we'll just go up here. It's halfway between these two boxes, so it'd be 45. The solubility would be grams of solute. So we have 45 grams of NH4Cl per 100 grams of H2O. And we're looking at, it says a solution of 50 grams of NH4Cl and 100 grams of water at 40 degrees. So that's pretty easy because it gives us the 100 grams of water here. We can compare directly to this. So what it's saying is, the solution is 50. I mean, sorry, the solution is 40 degrees, which which should allow up to 45 grams to dissolve, but 50 have dissolved. So we're basically just saying that um, here the concentration and the solubility. The solubility allows for 45, um, but the concentration is is um, actually 50 grams at that temperature and the same amount of water. So in this case, the, um, the C is going to be greater than the S, which would make it super saturated. Okay, cool. Now we'll jump in to the next problem. All right. Okay. Is a solution of 80 grams of KClO3 in 200 grams of water at 50 degrees Celsius, unsaturated, saturated, or supersaturated? So in this case, it's also kind of nice because we have 200 grams of water, uh, which, which is double whatever the chart's going to tell us. Um, but first off, let's start with our temperature. So at 50 degrees Celsius, and we're looking at KClO3. Let's see where that is. KClO3 right here, and again, it's 50 degrees. So the 50 degrees is here, and it looks like we're right on the 20. So at 50 degrees, 
20 grams of KClO3 will dissolve in 100 grams of water. So let's just multiply that by two to see what we can get in 200 grams. So at 200 grams, we should be able to have 40 grams, uh, 200 grams of water, we should be able to have 40 grams of ClO3. And now we'll compare those. So here we have our concentration and our solubility. Our solubility is gonna allow for um, 40 grams per 200 and our concentration is 80 grams, so it's double that. So again, our concentration is greater than our solubility, which means it's super saturated. And we'll go on to the next one. I'll just kind of overlay this um, so I don't run out of space here. A 15 degree solution of 250 grams of water has 5 milligrams of N2 dissolved in it. Is this solution unsaturated, saturated, or supersaturated? So on this one here, um, we'll, well, I mean, we'll, we'll do it the same way we always do, but um, we're at 15 degrees Celsius, and we're now looking at the gas chart. Um, so over here, with the solubility uh, decreasing as temperature increases. And we're looking at N2 at 15 degrees. So at 15 degrees, it looks like it's 2 milligrams. two milligrams of N2 can dissolve per 100 grams of water. And then it's asking, um, we have 250 grams of water. And for this one, you know, you can do it in your head, but I'll just cross multiply and divide for, that, for the sake of it. And then we have 5. We have 5 mg uh, of N2, and then from there we're comparing that, what's dissolved. So uh, a 15 degree solution of 250 grams of water has 5 milligrams dissolved in it, which means that the 5 equals 5, or um, C equals S, which means that it's saturated. Great, and then we're, we'll do just one more here. Um, okay, so if 76 grams of NH4Cl is dissolved in 305 ml of water at 70 degrees Celsius, how many additional moles are needed to make the solution saturated? I think that this is pretty, I, I wanna throw this one in because I think this is pretty much the most as difficult as these types of questions can get. Um, and it's I, I think it's still not too, too bad. So again, we'll start it like we always do um, at 70 degrees Celsius. And what are we looking for? NH4Cl. So NH4Cl at 70 is gonna be 60 grams of solute. We can have 60 grams of NH4Cl per 100 grams of water. Um, and then that, we can just set, do the proportion, set it equal to, here's the, here's like a, a, not really a tricky thing, but this is 305 ml, and before we were getting grams. However, the density of water is one gram per ml. So essentially we can just substitute out, it's 305, you don't have to do any kind of fancy conversion, um, grams of H2O. So we'll just do out the cross multiplication. 210 grams of NH4Cl and I'm sorry that that I don't think is right 60 times 305 divided by 100 yeah I'm not sure how that happened but 183 that's why I always uh, try to do it in my head as well as do it on the calculator and if there's a big disparity then Either I'm very mistaken or, um, you know, some, somehow I plugged it in wrong. Um, so here we go. Um, now what we have is, it, what it's asking for again is how many additional moles are needed to make the solution saturated. And we just found what would be the number of grams that would make this solution saturated. Uh, so now we're just going to convert that into moles. So well, first off we have 
183 minus our 76 because that's how much there was before. It says how much additional moles. So that's kind of like a double double trick question. Um, I, I, I'm kind of overusing the word trick here. I don't, I don't think that this type of question would be intentionally to trick you, but it's just one extra step and, and it's another place you could possibly make a mistake here. 107 grams of NH4Cl. And then we'll just put it into moles. The molar mass of that is gonna be 53.49 grams. So we'll just divide it. All right, so I got 1.96, but we can round that to 2.00 mole. Um, okay, so our full, or, uh, sorry, our full answer is gonna be 2.0 um, mole of, or moles of NH4Cl. Um, can be added. All right, cool. So that's the uh, the last question I had prepared. I think that uh, you know this this reference is pretty helpful. It's just like the I think the the most simplified way to to remember these types of problems. And um, yeah, I'll just show these definitions again here. So yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully this helps someone.